Hello everyone, John from Western Maine Defensive Tactics. Going to do a two-year update on the Carolina logging boots. I've been wearing quite a bit here. Um, they're holding up pretty well, but there are some issues that are arising, which is, I guess, pretty acceptable considering they're, they were $155 at the time. Um, having some more severe cracking of the welt on top. Soles are still in pretty good shape. The heels are starting to wear on both boots. Uh, on the right, it's uh, just be evidently because of the way I walk, it's uh, wearing a little bit more. Leather is getting some uh, pretty good cuts and scuffs in it. More cracking on the welt. And the toe on the right is, uh, is wearing a little bit more because I think I was digging around, kneeling underneath my truck or something like that. And, you know, cuts on the leather. Heel is wearing pretty good on the on the right boot and to a lesser degree on the left um also another issue that's come up is as the grommets wear they tend to eat laces i actually had to dress the inside of the top grommets with a chainsaw file to remove a burr uh to that was basically cutting up the laces you'd go to to pull the boot on and it would it was basically slice that lace right off i think uh this is this is April, and I've had two sets of laces in these boots already this year before I started looking around and saying, okay, well, there's something going on with these eyelets that, that make, them, make them eat laces. I think I have fixed that issue. The other issue that is I just noticed the other day, but I've been, I've been noticing it for, let's say, the last six months or so, the boots are leaking now. Um, I crossed a stream. Well, I, let's say I this was confirmed to me. The other day when I was out uh, walking in the woods, I crossed a stream. I spent a, probably a total of maybe a minute and a half, you know, crossing the stream and then back across, you know, maybe a minute and a half in the actual water, but walking and the boots, boots uh, got not soaking wet, but wet through enough where I let the boots dry out in the sun uh, yesterday and the day before and uh, didn't wear them to work. But anyway, um. Overall, they're pretty decent boots for the price. Again, they were 155 at the time. At today's prices and the economy we have right now, these are probably 175 or so. Still a pretty good buy if you don't have another pair of boots. I'm still gonna use. I'm still gonna use these. Still gonna wear them. Uh, but I have put money down on uh, or paid for a pair of JK boots, which are handmade boots uh, from oh the, out in the Pacific Northwest. I should get those in a few weeks. And I'm going to wear them a while, and I'll do a review of those. Uh, again, you're not going to get handmade boot price, uh, handmade boots, boots for a couple of hundred bucks. It's just not going to happen. But at the same time, I've discussed this before in video where I've spent hundreds, well, several hundred, if not a few thousand dollars on boots the last 10 years, and I don't have a good pair of boots. And it's about time I had a pair because we're swirling the uh, swirling the bowl right now, I think, economically and socially in, in our country. And going forward, I, I think if I, I think that we're going to face some some pretty destitute times, some lean times, which I'm not looking forward to. I'm not one of these people that that is naive enough to rub my hands and smile with glee when when uh, when when the prospect of an economic collapse comes because I don't think it's going to be a good time because I've seen hard times in my life and I understand what that what it means. Most of your naive people that are like, oh, I'm ready. They're not ready. If you say you're ready, you're not ready. But anyway, not to get to too far afield, but if you have been putting off getting durable goods, I suggest that you take whatever savings you have and get them now. And things that are going to last, not not junk, but supplies, crucial supplies and durable goods that you're going to need. If you don't have them, you should be buying them now. While money is still worth something, while, and more importantly, while um, the supply lines are still relatively intact. Yes, we've had supply line issues, but uh, they could potentially get much, much worse. But anyway little bit of a digression from boots but you're still gonna need good boots uh 
I don't think there's a question beyond that. I mean, if you don't, if you don't really, if you think you can get away with just sneakers or something else, it's just, it's not going to happen. Yes, I have sneakers as well, but those are disposable. Those are handy for some things, but boots are where it's at. You've got to have a good pair of boots, at least one pair, preferably, uh, if, preferably a few pairs. But anyway, the Carolinas aren't a bad choice. Uh, if all you got to, you know, $150, $200, go snag a pair of these. They'll get you by until you find something else. And they're not actually terrible. I've taken pretty decent care of these. I'm actually going to give them a coat of oil in a few minutes and head out with them. But I wanted you to see them when uh, they were in, uh, you know, the, let's say, in working condition. Not in perfect, pristine, all oiled up. Anyway, so two years. I probably won't do another one unless I have a catastrophic failure. But... These are pretty good boots for the money. All right, you guys take care.